Canfield for Mail Call. Stand by, Americans. Here's Mail Call. One big package of fun and music delivered to you by the stars you want to hear in answer to the request you send to Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Eve Holby Hardy's with a flourish and a sweep. Here's the prize package of the deep mail call. And if you want to know what makes the waves wild and the ocean roar, here she is, the only person in the world who can be both a hot dish and a dead pan, Virginia O'Brien. Virginia, we are glad to see you aboard tonight, and to show you I really mean that, I'm going to let you introduce our skipper for this cruise. Thank you for the honor, honor, Bernard. Fellas, the skipper is famous both on the stage and in the movies. Yes, tonight, you passengers on the good ship mail call are indeed in luck. Where else could you find such a beautiful singing voice, attractive face, and charming manners? But that's enough about me. (laughs) Here comes our skipper, George Murphy. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you. Sure, it's a gay old time that the folks will be having when the Murphys and the O'Briens go sailing over the briny deep together. Faith, hey, it's good to see you, Virginia. Ah, oh, Faith, but I'm glad to be aboard the good ship mail call. And Faith... Yes, get your face. <laughs> you know, Virginia, that's what I like about you. You're not like the other girls. You're different. Secure that line, Skipper. I've heard it before. <laughs> no, no, really, Virginia. You're so lovely, so poised, so extremely intelligent. So, uh, what? So how about a date after the show? (laughs) Sorry, George, but there's one O'Brien gal who doesn't believe in dates. As a matter of fact, she never had one. She doesn't drink or smoke. She's never kissed a man. And she's in bed by 8 o'clock every night. Oh, I think it's wonderful of you to be like that, Virginia. Me? I'm talking about Margaret (laughs) O'Brien. That old one. As for me, what would I be doing going out with you? I'm just a nobody, and you're a big name. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't bother to call me the name. <laughs> but honestly, Virginia, honestly, I, I wouldn't say that you're nobody. After all, you were featured in the Harvey Girls, weren't you? Yes. Now you're one of the up-and-coming young stars. Aren't you in Metro Zigfield Follies? Yes, George. I have a very nice spot in the picture. Uh, what are you? One of the Zigfield glorified girls? No, I'm one of the Follies. <laughs> Gee, I wish a folly like you would happen to me. Well, shut my <laughs> mouth if it isn't Meredith Wilson. How did you get in here, boy? How did you get here? Well, how's the music department coming along, Meredith? Oh, I managed to keep my skin and bones covered. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it shows. I say, uh... <laughs> It isn't like the good old days when we had vaudeville, eh, George? Yeah, yeah, those were the days. Remember the palace in New York? Oh, and those one-night stands. And those French, fresh corned beef sandwiches at the delicate... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And those crowded dressing rooms, always smelling of grease paint. Oh, and those overnight hops by bus. Yeah, and those fresh corned beef sandwiches at the delicate... <laughs> hey, hey, Meredith... Just for fun, what do you say if we give the fellas an idea of what a vaudevillian's life was like? Well, I'm game. Me too. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Hello, Bagel's Booking Agency. We have an act for every purse. You can't do better. You could do worse. Yes, yes. <laughs> what do you say? What? You want to hire Harry James for a month's engagement in Alaska? But why? Oh, so Betty Grable will be alone for a change. Okay, I'll see what I can do, Mr. Hope. <laughs> Come in. Uh, is this flea trap the bagel booking agency? Well, it ain't the Saratoga trunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's dark enough in here. How come you're eating your lunch in your office? These days it's tough to buy a two-dollar steak. If you buy a fifty-cent one, it's tougher. <laughs> Uh, look, I'm a busy man. Did you want to see me about bookings? Yeah. You bagel? No, I'm Agent Meredith Wilson, general manager. Make up your mind, Bob. 
First you're an agent, then you're a manager. What do you want? Two ten percent commissions? I don't think much of this place, George. Look at all the old actors' pictures on the wall. Yeah. I don't think this guy has booked an act since Valentino was back and Seda Barra had him. <laughs> Say, uh, just who are you two, anyway? Should we tell him who we are, Virginia? Oh, no. Let him guess. Okay. Look, Wilson. Who was it that broke every record in theaters all over the country? Who was it that sounded the critics with a vibrant, pulsating performance? Who was it stood on to down the rear with a daring, revealing exhibition of compact, outstanding talent? Jane Russell and the Outlaw, but who are you? <laughs> Come on. We're, we're Murphy and O'Brien, we sing and dance the vine. We're Murphy and O'Brien, we sparkle and we shine. We're a hot just song and dance theme, we're a little off the beam. We knock them dead, we're talented, our record's just a scream. <laughs> Fortunately, at this point, words fail me. <laughs> now, just where have you played? Oh, we just finished three days at the Bijou. That's not very long. It's long enough to lay an egg, hatch it, and teach it how to fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm murdered tonight. <laughs> Our contract just expired today. Must have died a horrible death. <laughs> Give us a break, Mr. Wilson. We're a swell act. Yeah, we roll them in the aisle. Never mind the crap game. What kind of an act do you have? <laughs> well, it's like this. First, we come on with a fast gag, see? I start like this. I say to Virginia, what's that you're reading, Virginia? A cookbook? It ain't forever, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it kills him. Uh, tell, me, <laughs> tell me, Virginia, what's your favorite dish? It's made with deer meat and chicken, George. I call it the Hooper's Delight. The Hooper's Delight? Yeah, buck and wing. Wow! Oh, oh there's not a seat left in the house. Then, then I do a triple buck and wing with a combination soft shoe and a fat shuffle off the buffalo, finishing with a stagger on the last eight bars. A stagger on the last eight bars? Well, sure. How many bars can you hit before you stagger? <laughs> and then when Virginia's doing her turn, I come in for a quick one step, two step. And when the landlady comes in for the rent, you should sing side step. <laughs> now look, kids. I hate to disappoint you, but you haven't got the right kind of an act. It's corny. People want something a little more modern these days, like, uh, well, good music, for example. I've got an act auditioning in the next room that's really got something. It's modern, up-to-date stuff with the accent on class and dignity. I would like for you to listen to them. Well, who are they? Who are they? Why, Abigail and Buddy. Look at her, 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 look at her